Tile and marble, quite expensive from the look of it. Tile and marble, quite expensive from the look of it. Locked. This window leads out to the balcony. Locked. Locked. It's locked fast. Yes? Oh, Mr. Maricott, I had a question for you. Uh, have you heard anything in Sticklehaven about this house being set up as a guest house? No, Miss Brent. No, Mrs. Rogers hasn't either. And who are the Owens? I haven't met them yet. Uh, would it surprise you to learn neither have Mr. and Mrs. Rogers? It's odd. Very odd. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Maricott, I must make dinner preparations. Mr. Narcot, I thought that you'd left us. Someone scuttled my boat. Oh, but that's dreadful. Surely the harbour master will send another boat when you're missed. Not in this storm, I'm afraid. And even then, it won't be reported. Why ever not? My brother. He knew I might not be immediately back. I'm terribly sorry for your trouble. The Owens should be arriving shortly. I'm sure you can get a ride back in that boat. If you'll excuse me, I must get ready for dinner. Narakot? I thought you'd be long gone by now. That storm's getting pretty fierce. Somebody scuttled my boat. I saw Blore watching you like a hawk eyes its dinner. Could it have been him? Possibly. Any idea why? I'd rather not say. Suit yourself. I'd better get ready for dinner. May I interrupt for a moment? I can't talk and play, Mr. Narakot. Right now, I prefer to play. Locked. 
may I ask you a question? Not now, man. Can't you see we're busy? It's tightly locked. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. I don't need to lug this around with me. Place for everything and everything in its place. A place for everything and everything in its place. It'll never work, I tell you. We should never have agreed. A house party only a week after we arrive? And no other help? Ethel, calm yourself. You promised me. Never again, you said. How was I to know? Oh, ah, Mr. Narricot. Uh, Ethel will be preparing you a meal in here once the guests are served. It's a sturdy cast iron stove. Mr. Rogers, I was wondering if I might have a word. Perhaps you'd find one of the guests with more free time to chat. None of them are doing any work. It's a press. Looks like it can hold quite a large amount of fruit. I don't need to lug this around with me.
No need to call unnecessary attention to my snooping. The larder is very well stocked. I'll need to wait until the weather lets up a bit. The refrigerator hardly seems large enough for a house of this size. Copper pots, just as I'd expect. It's a painting of a flower. Looks like a water lily. Interesting painting. Birds don't appeal to me, but someone here certainly fancies them. Would you just look at all these silk sheets? All embroidered GS. I'll bet that was that actress who used to live here. But I've dropped them on this filthy floor. Can I give you a hand, Mrs. Rogers? Thank you, Mr. Narricott. You seem like a good sort. I'm sorry for your boat. Ten little sailor boys. Charming. <laughs> 